Hey Tubes, David here. Well, today's little video will be on Windows 10. I've been, uh, I had recently installed Windows 10 on this, but had to do a fresh install because the 8.1 install that this laptop originally had on it was really bogged down, so Windows 10 was quite bogged down. Now, uh, we will go here and search for this PC so I can show you the specifications and whatnot. Ah, there we go. This laptop is an Acer Aspire V3572PG, and here you can see the specs. Core i5-4210U, which is a dual-core hyper-threaded low-power i5 one, at 1.7 gigahertz, but running at 2.4 currently because of turbo boost. 8 gigs of DDR3-1600L, which means low-powered. As you can see, it's 64-bit, obviously. Uh, the screen is touch, so if I, say, do that, it'll open up and I can basically you know touch and make things bigger we also have rain meter up in the corner here as you can see currently showing cpu usage ram usage swap usage was basically the page file it's just windows fancy way of saying it like linux does you see disk c is the actual windows drive i had done a partition to back stuff up as i had no way other way of doing it I believe the thumb drive is still here somewhere maybe not i uh use the windows media creation tool to create the uh, USB installer for Windows 10, where that USB went, I don't know. This laptop also has a GeForce 840M 2 gig in it. And as you can see, Windows 10 is quite snappy. This is build 1511, the first build, which introduced colored title bars, I believe. I can't remember if it was 1511 or whatnot. But it's quite peppy. And, <clears throat> and a problem with this laptop, as you see, it's quite rough. It's missing a few keys. Um, the... Yeah, left, the right shift, escape, and whatnot, as well as W. And the wireless card in this laptop is toast. I don't know exactly what happened, but it's wired in. But the problem is, this cord doesn't actually stay plugged in very well. I don't know why. Everybody else has been hating 10. I also had hated it at one point in time. But now that I've actually had a chance to play with it more, it does extremely well. And this thing is quite capable of doing 1080p obviously uh, YouTube saying my video is shaky but that's fine I really don't care there are a few things installed on here uh, Spotify being one of them and as you can see it had opened pretty quick and this is a 5400 rpm hard drive at that turn that down oh it's pretty well done anyway but yeah it's pretty snappy we have for a media playing tool on here <clears throat> We've got Media Player Classic Home Cinema. I believe that should... I guess it would help if I typed it in right. Which is basically a remake of the original Media Player that was used in two, Windows 2000 and whatnot. And it worked quite well. Uh, what I also like about Windows 10 is the ability to mount ISO files just like that. Now, this is, you know, the whole t this laptop's touchscreen is... A nice feature now we can double it's a little hard to navigate with the touch screen but it works fairly well let's uh, just show you how well oh <clears throat> go here drop that on there like that and as you can see this little view meter starts going off from rain meter which I set up for it don't want to play too much music in the video because we do not want to Copyright police coming after us. We got American Truck Simulator for a game. We also have Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014, which is the video editor I use when I do decide to edit videos. We'll close that and that. Close that. Uh, open Task Manager just to. You can see basically all four logical cores here. Blah blah blah, doing their thing. You can see how much RAM is being used. Disk, Ethernet, Bluetooth, which actually isn't connected at the moment. Oh, I didn't even actually do anything with Adobe. Let's see how long it takes to open up here. <clears throat> so we may end up having just to get a wireless, external wireless card for this laptop at some point, but for now that works. It has VGA and whatnot out, uh, HDMI, USB 3, two USB 2.0s, um, and a combo jack for line in, mic in, all that, which I actually dislike because 
you don't have if you use the line in you you have to use the internal speakers and if you use uh, and it's just not worthy I hate those combo jacks you have to buy a splitter to be able to use it properly and it's just a pain in the ass but yeah so far Windows 10 has been doing good I don't need to and uh, it actually won't let me install and uh, Microsoft security essentials but I could probably put zone alarm if I wanted the extra protection we also have steam on here you here you can actually see the Bluetooth devices thing which I could use with my phone here is LG G3 but I don't really bother to come on sure takes a while on a 5400 rpm hard drive mind you this is a <clears throat> One terabyte Western Digital Blue. Oh, look at that new project! As you can see, it's fairly, it's fairly quick. Yeah, let's see how long it takes to import media. We'll go this PC. Do Volume D. My folder. I believe I have something. Ah, there we go. We will go ahead and drag. We'll just open that one. Let's, oh, there we go. Drag that, and once the video file is actually there, I find it's not too. Oh, yeah, drop that there. And yeah, it, it it takes a little bit to load, and as you can see, it's fairly loud. But other than that, this laptop runs good. It can take 16 gigs of RAM, but I don't really see a point. Um, there's quite a few different features in Windows 10 that I like. For one, the weather widget, which I have to change for my location. Uh, I still haven't quite set up Cortana. Settings. Oh yeah, of course she's gonna... There we go. It's gonna ask me, of course, to sign in. To use it properly, whatever. But yeah. Here we go, there's the weather widget. We'll type in my location. <clears throat> Frederick Ten. There we go, let's see. Weather widget, there's a couple different little applications in my it's cold, negative fifteen degrees Celsius. But it's gonna start warming up hopefully as we get closer and closer to March. The tiles are nice it basically is like a combination of the metro ui and a start menu you can also resize it like so but i tend to like it to be a bit smaller and you can use classic shell if you want i don't really see a point because the taskbar is plenty good enough and just the overall layout and how snappy it is on this hardware is it's quite good now older hardware you could technically run it but will not always run well especially if you had a system like mine back beforehand with the core to do that worked but not so well another cool feature is if you actually click over here uh, there was a way you could get it to there we go tablet mode as you can see now you basically it's like a tablet and which is awesome because this is a touchscreen computer after all um, that didn't quite do what I wanted there we go as you can see it basically makes it look like a tablet which is useful if you have a touchscreen if you don't I really don't see a point in doing so um, file explorer where is the I guess you can't quite open the file explorer from here. That's you. F I figured you would have been able to. Apparently not. Maybe if we go. Nope. Um, strange. I guess I can't actually open a file explorer from here. Hmm. Search. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Apparently it'll only let you use these applications. You can't just open the file explorer for some odd reason. Maybe if I open Groove Music. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange. Now we have to click back to here and then we click out of that. It goes back to a normal desktop, of course. In the tablet mode, they should make it a little better so you actually have the option to use your file explorer from there to play music and whatnot as you can see you've got quite a bunch of different things in this area tablet mode connect I believe that's for wireless displays note all settings 
airplane mode, which is kind of silly on a desktop OS. It would be more suitable for tablet, all the other different options, and it shows you all your notifications here, and you can just, boom, clear them, just like that. But anyways, that is pretty well it for this little video. I may add do more later on, but for now, that is all, so I shall speak to you later.